Rating is analytic function. Change the color of the pen. Write the heading. analytic function so I have sent one uh, video lecture the GCR that is what is known as complex function the extension of that complex number I have sent that a uh, video for that complex number is it a The extension of that complex number is the complex variable. Complex variable. In case that equal to x plus i y, where x and y are real numbers that is called the complex number whereas z equal to x plus i y where x and y are the independent variables x and y are the independent variables then z is called the complex variable complex variable. Similarly, we can define one more complex variable w. w equal to u plus i v where u and v are the are the two independent variables. Next extension of that uh, complex variable is that function of a complex variable. Function of a complex variable. You know what is mean by function? Function means relating two sets. If two sets are there, it is uh, domain is a range. What is domain usually? X the range is Y. X takes the value X1, X2, Xn, Y1, Y2, Yn. So one or two maybe values are there for Y corresponding to X. Then if you are relating to two sets that is called that Y equal to F of X. It is the ordinary function. But what is mean by complex function? Complex function means always the complex has two variables, two independent variables x and y. As just now we have seen that now z equal to x plus i y, where z is a function of x and y. If you are defining the w equal to u plus i v, one more complex variable, that w equal to f of u comma v. We can extend that concept of one variable, sorry, one function, function of one variable into function of two variables. It is z, it is w. So it is x is the function of x1 comma y1, x2, y2, x and yn. Any doubt is there in middle, please ask. Here some function is there. 
why is that u1 v1 u2 v2 given vn so if you relating that the corresponding value of w some values in z then we can write w equal to f of z so this is domain this is called image or a range W equal to f of z. We are writing that W equal to f of z. Actually, what is z? Z is x plus i. Is it? Then W can be written as f of x plus i y. Very simple example of that domain and then the, this image is that let us if we are sitting in one class. Okay, so here board is here, teacher is standing here. So board is here, a white board, and then the projector is here. This is the projector. This is the screen, our board. Okay, so here what you have done? Then you are projecting some lessons here. Then we can see that the each and every one corresponding value of z, then the corresponding points of the w is there. Okay, so this is the image, and then it is the domain. Okay. That is a simple example for this complex function. What is w here? W is u plus i v. That is equal to function of x plus I y. So we can write u is the function of x comma y, and v is the function of x comma y. How can we write that? From one example, I can say, for example, how can we write that w equal to f of z in terms of u and v as a function of x and y? For example. W equal to z square. It is a function of z. Is it not? What is z here? Z is x plus i y. So W equal to x plus i y whole square. Expand it. X square plus i y whole square plus two i x y. What we get? X square where i is what? I square is minus one. Minus one. Is it that? Minus y square plus i into two x y. But W is what U plus I V. If you are equating real and imaginary part, what you get? Real and imaginary parts. If you are equating real and imaginary part, what you get? U equal to x square minus y square. P equal to Two x y. Similarly, we can write that uh, it is the first example. W equal to z square. In case w equal to one by z is there, then how can we write that u and v? So w equal to one by z is what x plus i y. Multiply with the conjugate. X minus i y divided by x minus i y multiplied with one by x plus i y. What do you get? X minus i y divided by x square 
minus y square. This can be written as x divided by x square minus y square minus i into y divided by x square minus y square. So u plus i v, what is w here? W is u plus i v. If you are equating the remain real part and imaginary part, we get u equal to x by x square minus y square. What is v here? Minus y divided by x square minus y square. This is called an complex function. So once again I repeat that, what is mean by function of a complex variable? Function of a complex variable is that we can write w equal to some f of z, where w is one complex variable u plus i v, z is the one more complex variable x and x plus i y. If we write the w equal to f of z, then we can write that the complex variable into the real and the imaginary part. One more example we can write in case w equal to sin z. How can we write this as a real and a complex, the real and the imaginary part? Substituting z value here, sin x plus i y, what is sin a plus b t formula? sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Using this, we can write this as sin x cos i y plus cos x sin i y. Write one note, what is that cos i y? Cos i y is i cos h y, where h is known as the hyperbolic function, hyperbolic trigonometric, trigonometric function, whereas sin i y can be written as, sorry, cos i y is that i will not cos h y sin i y is i sin h y what is called cos h y cos h y is e power y plus e power minus y divided by 2 sin h y is e power y minus e power minus y by Using this note here, we will get that what is W? U plus I V equal to sin X cos H Y because cos I Y is cos H Y plus cos X what is sin i y? Sin i y is i sin h y. Equating the real and imaginary part, equating the real part and imaginary part, we will get that so u equal to sin x 
cos h y v equal to cos x sin h y. So this is the method to write that the function of a complex variable. Any complex variable is given, how can we write that real and the imaginary part? So additionally, we can write down problem for practice for this. Problem for practice. How can we write that W equal to cos Z? How can we write that W equal to Z cube? How can we write that W equal to E power Z? So E power Z is somewhat an important problem because it is an exponential function. Exponential function is e power i x. See third one we I can do the third one as it is important. W equal to e power z means e power x plus i y. We have to use the D Morgan's uh, Morris theorem here. So e power x plus i y can be written as e power x e power i y. E power x. What is e power i theta formula? What is e power i theta formula? Anybody? Not able to remember. Cos theta plus. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. e power x. So cos theta plus i sin theta. So e power x cos theta plus i into e power x sin theta. What is w here? u plus i v. So u equal to e power x cos theta v equal to e power x. But here theta will not come. Na. e power i y. Is it not? So theta will not come. Instead of theta we have to write cos y sin y. Here also we have to write y e power x cos y e power x sin y. If it is in the polar form we have to write that uh, z is the function of r and theta then we can write the w also we can write in the function of r and theta. Okay. Any doubt is there up to now? So directly we can go for that analytic function.